Hey, welcome to the Stitch and Post. Today we are doing a no sew project. I love this project. It's great for gifts. Um, it is a little meditative and time consuming. It can be, but you don't need a sewing machine. So I'm working today off of a six pack of fat quarters. So you really just decide what size of napkin you want and you're gonna cut your fabric that size. The key to this, so we're gonna start we have a fat quarter here. And as we know, our fat quarter, quarter is gonna be longer and uh, than they are white, so they're rectangulars. And we want a square napkin. So this is approximately 18. <coughs> so if you are really good, you can cut this right on the grain. I am not very good at that. I get close to the grain, not always right on. But that's okay because we can square these up after we get to the next part. So I'm gonna trim this salvage off. And I'm just going to get as close to the edge as possible so my napkin is right around 18 <coughs> inches. All right, here we go. We've squared up. <coughs> And this is now the hardest part of the <coughs> task. So we have this really pretty little napkin. And then you start pulling your threads. So this is the part where you sit in front of the TV, you put on a good show, nice cup of tea, or if you're like me, you do it at night, have a little glass of wine. And you start pulling your threads. I kind of go around all four edges just to get them started. So see, you're just pulling your threads. And I'm gonna send this around so everybody can pull some threads. Okay, and you can feel you can usually get a couple going at a time. So, I'm gonna pass that around. And then, <clears throat> I have one here. So this is what happens when you don't get exactly on the grain. As you can see, I've pulled the threads and there's a thick edge here with all sorts of fray and nothing down here. So with this guy, I will come in and Just try and cut off a little bit of this so that it doesn't, because it starts getting harder to pull the threads when the longer of your fringe you get, the threads get kind of caught up in it. So if I can trim this down a little, I have two sides of this because that grain was not on when I trimmed it. So this map napkin maybe is I need it smaller, but that's okay. So then, once you've cut and trimmed it down a little bit, I'll just come back in and start pulling more threads until I like to have enough threads that I know when I put this in the wash with like my tablecloth and you're trying to get all the stuff off of it, you know that you won't lose any more threads because you have enough fringe on it. So. So you just keep pulling until, I like to have about half inch, sometimes a little more. So like this one is done. And I might go square it up if I feel like it needs to be squared up. I'll pass these around so you can see them. And this is literally all you do. And I brought with me one of my napkins from my, uh, my house. This is probably 10 years old. That's how long I've had it. I have a lot of these, that's why it's not super dirty. But it's been washed several times and you can see what happens to the fringe and you don't have to sew a thing. So I'm gonna pass this around so you can see the fringe. 
You can, there's no threads coming up. It's not any smaller than it was before. So it's pretty cool. So these are your next gifts that you're gonna give to your friends. And what's great is you can grab a little six pack and you have six napkins for people. Tie them up in a little bow. You can even wash them first if you want, just so that people aren't nervous about washing them, right? So that is our project for today. No sew napkins. Hi, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.